our company was incorporated back in 1992. And right from the outset, we were focused on building what we call interoperable software, specifically for the unmanned sector. Uh, the demo we we're looking at today was actually uh, the VCS 45A6 software, and that's been modified from what's in theater right now to incorporate these demo services for the UCS open architecture. UCS stands for uh, UAS control segment, and it's an effort by the Office of the Secretary of Defense to establish some commonality uh, and allow software reuse between different programs. So we were trying to demonstrate that we could integrate services produced by multiple different companies into our own existing product so that we could actually consume information produced by other vendors. The CDL Systems VCS 4586 is a Stanag 4586 interoperability standard compliance software. It provides a very user-friendly interface that allows operators to control a diverse array of unmanned vehicles. VCS 4586 is a fielded product that is currently being used by the U.S. Army to control the RQ-7B Shadow, the MQ-5B Hunter, and the MQ-1C Gray Eagle unmanned platforms. VCS 4586 includes features such as vehicle control, sensor control, a mission planning and management system, and other comprehensive tools enabling operators to maximize their mission effectiveness. CDL Systems took a proactive role in helping to develop the UCS service-oriented architecture initiated by the Office of the Secretary of Defense. This UCS architecture was designed to facilitate service reuse, rapid integration, future capabilities, and to reduce costs. CDL Systems participated in a UCS demo to show successful integration within this architecture. They took the VCS 4586, the fielded software used by the U.S. Army today, and using DDS middleware, integrated seven distinct services. Blue Force Situational Awareness, Cursor on Target, Weather, Video Stream Catalog, Vehicle Flight Status, and Sensor C2. By demonstrating seamless integration and the successful communication between VCS 4586 and the services, the effort showed that VCS 4586 could function within the defined UCS architecture. In doing so, CDL Systems demonstrated that an unmanned system operator could leverage the interoperability and user experience offered by VCS 4586 and also reap the added value of the integrated services using the UCS service-oriented architecture. Part of how we succeeded was actually the way we actually write software. So our processes aren't the same as every other software company. Um, we employ something called Agile Software Development Process, which involves a lot of teamwork, a lot of collaboration between team members, and a lot of focus on delivering value to the customer. Agile is kind of a buzzword, but it basically means that we work iteratively, uh, we give value to the customer every two weeks, and we continuously work towards you know, integrating all at the same time. This essentially allows us to incrementally deliver value to the customer by adding a feature at a time and shipping deliverable software. The Agile method says, let's find out if we have problems sooner in, in the process. We're ultimately trying to produce a working piece of software at the end of every two week uh, period, also known as we call it here an iteration. Our software has evolved since its beginning stages. We've actually rewrote it entirely into a newer product called VCS 45A6, which is our flagship products, which allows interoperability between the different UAV platforms. Uh, it uses a standard called Stanag 45A6. We were in fact one of the pioneers of this standard, and what it was conceived to do was allow many different types of vehicles of different types and different functionalities to be controlled from a single ground control station software. With the U.S. Army's Shadow UAV, the U.S. Army's Hunter UAV, the U.S. Army's Grey Eagle UAVs are all controlled using CDL system software, our software. It was clearly the right move, at least from the Army perspective, because they have multiple UAVs with different capabilities, but they all want them controlled from a common control station whereby they only have to train a soldier once to operate, and they can operate these different air vehicles for different uh, purposes. 
we really focus on delivering value to the warfighter. We want, we want to see the whole big picture. We want to be able to accomplish their goal, and that's our, that's our goal. That's our philosophy: is abstract away all the details. What are they trying to accomplish? How can we make that the best that it can be? CDL Systems, now a Lockheed Martin company.